Welcome everyone to Depression to Expression. Hey, listen, if you're depressed, at least you have two hands. And if you, if somehow you don't have hands, at least you have two feet and you can walk around. And if you don't have hands or feet and depressed, well, honestly, at least you have food and water, right? A lot of people don't have food and water and you have shelter. Wait, you don't have food, water, and shelter? Listen, at least you have the blue sky to look up at before you die. We need to acknowledge the time in which we live. 2018, the comparison, social media, how we have so much access to information, there is an increasing pressure to perform, to be happy, to be the best. God, that's exhausting. God, that takes its toll on our mental health. So why, why are we, why, why do we continue to try to keep level with the status quo quo? Why are we trying to be happy all the time? Why do we always have to look on the positive side? Why do we always have to look on the bright side? But Scott, isn't this what your channel is all about? Looking on the bright side of life? Up to a point. But the purpose of this channel is to give you the power and to show you, yes, you have the tools to conquer depression and anxiety and any challenge you may face in life. But I talk about contentment in this channel, being content with the whole range of emotions you may experience, not fighting the bad moods, right? Not saying it needs to be fixed right away. I need to be happy right now. Listen, if something shitty happens in your life, Something shitty happened in your life. You don't need to look for the bright side right away. And hey, I'm the guy who used to do that. I'm always the one who needs an, who, who gave an answer to a possible solution. And you know what? Between you and me, it was a great answer. You know, this has happened in my life. Well, look at it this way. A lot of that isn't accepted because the time frame in which the shitty experience happens to when you should give advice or look on the bright side, they're a little too close together. I think you should, or I'm inviting you to, or you can try to not look on the bright side right away when something bad happens in your life. You lost the big game. Don't say, well, at least we came close. Well, at least the basketball game was fun. No. You lost the game. You tried your best. You did your best and you lost. Straight up. Be sad about it. You're diagnosed with stage two cancer. Well, at least it's only stage two. I like the at least. Listen to that language. Well, at least I live in Canada, so it's free. No, cancer sucks. Cancer is hard on the individual. The treatment's terrible and it's very hard on families. It's tough. Acknowledge shitty times because that's life, right? Life isn't all donkeys and giraffes. Life isn't all spotted blue tails and red striped bimbos. What did I just say? That doesn't matter. What matters is you acknowledge the bad times. You take life for what it is, not what it could be or just should be. It's what it is. Bad things happen. Tragedies happen. Accept them. Don't always look for a way out right away. Accept them, be with them, then learn from them, and look on the bright side when the time is right, when maybe the grieving has slowed down and the healing has begun. Don't look on the positive side right away. Thanks a lot for your attention, everyone. Just a little bit of info. Hopefully you liked it. It's a beautiful sunny day in Toronto, Ontario. I just went for a run and I have quite a bit of energy. So I thought I'd do this video because I was thinking about the bright side, but something bad happened. And I just wanted to tell you that you shouldn't look on the bright side when something bad happens. <gasps> when something bad happens because it's, it's part of the healing process that you need to acknowledge. And I've used that word quite a bit. Acknowledge, notice, be present in the feeling of shit. It's very important. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. If you're not new, don't forget to like and comment. I'd love to hear what you think about this little concept. Take care, everyone. Stay strong and keep being you.